After humanity's tragic fall into sin, the human story continued only because of God's kindness. But that Genesis 4 is dark, like the chapters that follow, is just what we should expect from a rebellious people. Adam and Eve seem to be trusting in God's promise to save sinners, but they are sinners, and now they're raising a family of sinners. Their firstborn, Cain, and his younger brother, Abel, are introduced as workers and worshipers. Cain worked the ground and brought part of his harvest as an offering to God. Abel, the shepherd, gave the firstborn of his flock. Both are appropriate offerings. But as Hebrews 11.4 says, By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain. Abel was righteous not by bringing a superior gift, but by trusting God. Cain, as Jude 11 puts it, was of a different way. He was of the evil one, 1 John 3, verse 12. God pleaded with Cain to turn from his evil way. With God's help, sinners can resist sin, no matter how deeply they're stuck in it. But without resistance, sin will destroy us. Cain killed his brother because he refused to repent of covetousness, that first sin that gives birth to every other. As James puts it in chapter 4, verse 2, murder, like all sins, begins as unmet desire. God answered the murderer's plea for leniency, and he also uses Abel's murder to preach both judgment and mercy. As Jesus says in Matthew 23, 25, everyone who fails to repent will be judged as a murderer. But there is another way. The story of Abel's murder can lead us to Jesus, whose blood has satisfied God's justice. Hebrews 12, 24 says that there is a blood that cries out with a better message than that of the blood of Abel. Very on, human history began dividing up into two sorts of people. We see that in Genesis 4. Like Cain, Lamech was of the kind who think they can make their own destiny. A man wounded him, so he murdered him. Those who live by vengeance will die unavenged, Jesus says in Matthew 26. But there is another way. When Adam's grandson Seth was born, people began to call on the name of the Lord, Genesis 4, 26. A later prophet explains why that matters. They will call upon my name, Zechariah says in chapter 13, verse 9, and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God.